This is a short video to show you how you can develop your own category sets. First thing we're going to do is click on the category editor option. On the left hand side of the manage category set window that opens up, we can see all of the category sets that I've put together. They're the ones that are added into my library. If we develop a new category set and save it, it will be added to this list and you'll be able to then select that and use it when you develop, when you create projects. So the first thing we're going to do then is create a category set from scratch. First thing, click on the add new category button. What we're going to call our category, let's give it a name. So we'll call it team. Because it's the top category, I'm going to select the timestamp option. Next thing to decide is how many rows and how many columns. So because it's team, I only want two teams. I'm going to have one row, two columns. Click on the save button and we can see that's been entered in. Now we right click on our mouse and select the edit button. And now we can give that first button a name. So we'll call it the blue team. We give it a color. Now down below are the pre and post row settings. We'll just leave these at minus five and five just now, but this is where you'd be able to determine how far before an event you want to watch it when you select it. We'll click on save then, and we're ready to go to our second button. Right click, click on edit button, and we'll call this red team. Give it the color red and click on save. So we've added in our first category then. Now we want to add our second category in. Down and click on add new category. This time we're going to call this category event because this is the category in which we're going to identify some of the actions that we want to look at. We click on the lock trigger button because it's the, it's the bottom category. And this time I'm going to just pick four basic events for us to be able to enter. I want them in the one row, so it's one row and four columns. We click on save and we can see that these buttons have now been added. Right click on the first one, edit button and we'll give it a name. We'll call this one corner kick. We give it a colour and click on save. Next one, edit, we'll call it free kick. We'll give it a colour, we'll click on save, third button, edit, we'll call it shot, choose a colour, click on save, and the fourth button, we'll call it goal, give it a colour, and click on save. So you can see then that very quickly we've been able to develop a category sets with two categories in it. First thing we want to do is save that category set then to our category set library on the left hand side. So we click on the save to library button. Do we want to save it? Yes. And we'll give it a name. So we'll call it ID test one. That will now be added into the category set library. So let's scroll down and look for that. And there is the ID test one category set that we've just created. Close the, the window and now we'll go in, we'll just quickly step through creating a project and that pro project and adding that category. So click on manage projects, give our project a name. So it's ID um, project one. We'll add a video. My videos are in my capture folder. We'll just add in my first video there. We click save and close. The new project's been created. We click on OK. Pause our video. Now we're going to go in and we're going to choose the category set that we want to use with this game. So I'm going to click on category editor and I'm going to scroll down and find ID test. So we scroll down here, there's ID test, we highlight that, 
we click load set, we load it into the window just to check that that's the right category set. Yes, it is. And then we click on the save to project button. Click yes and then close. And we can see that our category set has now been added into our project. We start our video and we'll now be able to enter games. And that's how you quickly create a category set in the new version of Focus.